Up next, we've got the Welsh Gold Cup, another listed race, two mile, five furlongs, so a little bit further than they'll have to travel next week in the Ascot Gold Cup. We've got Arthur's Pass, Craig Allen, Broken Promise, Ryan Tamasebi, Dragon Keeper, Leon Van Rensburg, Everlast, Joshua Sutherland, Illustrated, Craig Beckwith, Misty Yates for Paul Rhodes, Newbow, Darren Thompson, Walk the Line, Ryan Tamasebi, Colleville Slayer, Graham Clutterbuck, Kiping East, Vinnie Gerrard, Rosanna, James Shea, Tagava, Graham Clutterbuck, and Royal Longbow for Jim Murray completes your lineup. For the Welsh Gold Cup. So 13 go to post. And they're off and running. So a long way to go here at Fosslas. Uh, walk the line. Uh, goes out into an early lead, the favourite. Uh, I think this trip's going to be uh, a bit too far for that one, really. It's kind of 16 to 18 furlongs. So I hope you haven't put too much money down on that for those favourite backers. So it's Tagava that goes out into the early lead now. And that one's going to take up the running from Mr. Yates, just settled in off the pace on the rail for Paul Rhodes. Rosanna on the outside of that one. A uh, little gap back there to the two from my stable. Got Walk the Line and uh, Broken Promise Samaging. Uh, Royal Longbow Dragon Keeper just in behind those. Ran a couple of decent races off uh, Top Weight Dragon Keeper. It'll be interesting to see how that one goes over this much further distance uh, today. So Tagava has a couple of lengths lead over Rosanna. If you look back towards the rear of the field, you can see the familiar hold-up run of Kiping East and one of uh, Vinnie Gerrard's stable. That's another that's got really good form with some solid placed efforts coming into this race. Uh, looks like this trip could suit that one today. So Tagava still has that lead, just swinging left-handed there. And a pretty decent pace uh, for a two-mile, five furlong race being set by Tagava. So it is going to be a real test of stamina of these horses. And a lot of these horses will be looking to stake a claim for the big one, which is coming up next week at Royal Ascot, the Ascot Gold Cup. will be the main one, uh, although, of course, we do have the Queen Alexandra stakes there as well over today's distance. Uh, so Tagavis has a lead of around two lengths to Rosanna uh, and a gap of two to three lengths back to walk the line that's just racing on the rail on the inside of Mr Yates, Royal Longblow, the black, black horse for Jim Murray in those familiar colours, the black silks uh, with the red sleeves. And that one's racing in front of Dragon Keeper, who's got plenty of cover in behind. Uh, Royal Longbow for Leon Van Rensburg, or Everlast coming up on the outside in the black and red for Joshua Sutherland. Broken Promise just in behind that one over towards the rail. We've got the other Graham Club of Runner, Colville Slayer. Arthur's Pass, Craig Allen, Kiping Eastern Illustrated is currently the back marker in those blue and white silks with a white hat. As we come into the final 11 furlongs now, that's the 11 furlong marker there. Tagava still in the lead, enjoying himself out in front with a, still a couple of length lead over Rosanna in the gap widening between the front two and the chasing pack, which is still being led by Walk the Line. Mr. Yates on the outside of that one. Royal Longbow, Dragon Keeper all travelling really well, as is Broken Promise on the outside. And they're all still travelling pretty well. Everlast, after making a move forward, has dropped back just a little bit and is ahead of that uh, the back markers of uh, Kiping Eastern Illustrated. Arthur's pass as well there towards the rear of the field is going to make the run late on. So we're coming towards the 8th furlong marker. So we've got one mile left to go now in the Welsh Gold Cup. Still, Tagava has the lead from Rosanna. Walk the lines now moved forward to just close the gap on the front pair. Is now just a few lengths off the lead and hot on the tail of Rosanna. Mr Yates track and walk the line the whole way. Broken promises, making sure not to let these leaders get too far ahead of it. Dragon Keeper just tracking that one as is Royal Longbow. Arthur's pass has made some smooth progress up the rail for Craig Allen and is still travelling really strongly one that's been off the bridle a little bit there is new bow and colville slayer getting to work there for a few strides as well so a few of these just angling for position as we start to swing left-handed and come for home walk the lines trapped tight in behind there on the rail but uh, there's still plenty of time to go as we're into the final five furlongs tagava and mr yates mr yates traveling really powerfully up on the outside there now for paul rhodes the two ryan tamasebi runners just in behind now and walk the lines being ridden very patiently broken promises made some smooth progress on the outside and the jockey now says go on Arthur's pass and wants to start closing the gap with three and a half furlongs left to go. Broken Promise and Mr Yates have now moved past Tagava and it's Broken Promise that takes up 
the lead. No, Mr. Yates fights back up the rail. Mr. Yates doesn't want us to surrender that advantage and into the final two and a half furlongs. Mr. Yates kicks on, opens up a length advantage from Broken Promise and seems to be going away from these at the moment. Illustrated and Arthur's pass have stayed on from the rear of the field. Everything else looks beaten uh, as we come towards the furlong and a half marker. Mr. Yates is kicking on in a stretch. Two, three, four lengths clear from the field into the final furlong. Broken Promise and Illustrated is trying to stay on as is Arthur's pass but Mr. Yates is set for home and he's going to candor away to win the Welsh Gold Cup here for Paul Rhodes. Mr. Yates off the back of this performance will surely be going to Ascot favourite for the Gold Cup. Mr. Yates wins it very easily indeed. Arthur's pass, Broken Promise, Illustrated. They all tried to stay on and make a real race of this but Mr. Yates came off that final bend, kicked for home and nothing could get near it. Illustrated a really good run in second. Broken Promise stayed on for third. Arthur's pass fourth. And get confirmation of fifth there for you. Tagava uh, still managed to hold on to fifth. Kiping East walked the line. Nothing else got into it. So it's a really good four and a half length winner for Mr. Yates uh, from Illustrated. Broken Promise, Arthur's pass and Tagava. And uh, all eyes will be on Mr. Yates next week to see if it can follow up in the main goal cup at Royal Ascot.